Hi, this is Josh Ritter, and you're watching Ambi. Hey, everyone. It's Alicia from Ambi, and I'd like to welcome you to our interview with Josh Ritter. How are you? Great. I'm really, really good. Thank you for taking the time to have a chat. Thanks for having me. It's my pleasure. You came to Toronto on uh, the perfect Canadian day. I'd say lots of snow. It's pretty chilly. Yeah, <laughs> oh, it's, 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 uh, we, we, I just came from New York, and so I think I flew with the storm. I kind of rode the storm all the way here. And, and, uh, uh, but it's a beautiful, beautiful town. So it's, it's beautiful. I walked around all day. Well, I know you've been in Toronto since this morning. Can you walk us through your day a little bit, what you're up to? Uh, I'm working on a couple different projects. So I, 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 I woke up in the morning and and uh, and I got to read my read my my book over a little bit of hotel breakfast, and then I got down to work for a couple hours, and then I went down and had an amazing uh, amazing uh, ramen meal, and it was awesome. I had a great time. Is ramen something you would look for while in there? Like, is that a go-to dish, or is it? Oh just yeah, it's nice to yeah? have a, nice to have a, like a, a a comforting something like when you're when you, in the snow, you know. <laughs> You posted this tour video, almost like a tour diary that was taken with a bunch of footage from your tour in January. Yes. And of all those moments and all of the collections of videos that you had in there, does one specifically stand out as particularly special? Oh, I think uh, uh, I travel with my family, um, so uh, it was it was really cool to see uh, uh, to see my, my my kid in there walking down a, 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 an airport uh, concourse like, <laughs> like an adult. Yeah, you know, it was great. <laughs> well, you shared your record sermon on the rocks back in October. Mm -hmm. I was wondering, why did you decide to record it in New Orleans? I just love. I just, you know, when I when I started getting the urge to make a record, I just decided, you know, I I wanted to make it a real adventure. And, and New Orleans is a place that I've always wanted to go and 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 be for a while. You know, you only get a chance to see stuff for a little bit on tour. And, and I really love New Orleans, and I so I wanted to go back there to record just because. I thought it was great. <laughs> <laughs> you did something really cool for your video for Homecoming, and you asked a lot of your fans to send in photographs of their hometowns, yeah. and you put them into this really beautiful collage of all the places that they're from. Yeah. What was it like looking through all of those photographs? Did you receive a lot? Were you part of that process? Oh, it was amazing. You know, uh, it was amazing. It's like something that you 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 couldn't you couldn't do before the before the the internet to ask people to send in all these pictures, and you know we got. We got over 2,000 pictures wow. of people's hometowns from all over the world, and we, we fit them all into this this video, as many as we possibly could. And, and it was just such a pleasure to see all these places, you know, that people call, call home because you feel that same pull to your own place. It, it's a, it's, it was an emotional little trip. <laughs> Were you shocked at all seeing some of those places come through? Like, whoa, I'm listening to you in this city or that yeah, place. Yeah, yeah, was, that was amazing. It was amazing to see the places that, 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 that it came from. I was so, it was a, a huge honor, you know, an honor. Well, you are from Idaho. Yes. I know you're pretty proud to be from Idaho. Yeah, I was yeah. wondering, uh, <laughs> if we were to come to Idaho, mm -hmm. where would you want us to check out? Where would you take us? I would bring you mostly to my hometown, you know, which is a little town called Moscow, Idaho. And it's in the middle of uh, wheat fields and of mountains and, and, uh, and gravel roads. And it was just a beautiful place to grow up in a place that I, you know, have left, uh, but, you know, hasn't left me, you know, in that, in that time old you know, country song kind of way, you know. We've previously shared how since you're on the road so much, many places and cities become your home. Mm -hmm. So aside from where you're from, which cities do you really hold near and dear to your heart? You know, the, and this this sounds like real sort of hippie nonsense, <laughs> but this is like the, every, the, the place that I'm playing that, that, that night is, is really special to me, you know. People like really, they spent... They spend money and they, they took the time and they came to a show and it's just, it's a huge gift to, to be able to be a part of that trust and and for that reason it's really it's really on the night there's no place like home and that's and that's <laughs> where you are you know plus that's as a touring musician you have to make home your your every wherever you are you just know? to make things more comfortable yeah. I guess day to day right totally yeah well not just on this record but a lot of past releases books have been a big influence for you yeah but for yourself you started writing material mm -hmm. for the second book yes you have yeah I have yeah. okay yeah I'm kind of I'm I don't know what I got right now but I'm, I'm deep in it and I don't know what it is but but it's it's turning into something you know I think just like songs writing books is 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 trying to save yourself from being embarrassed by yourself you know <laughs> most of the time that's like the most embarrassing it ever gets is sitting in a room alone and reading something you thought was great <laughs> yeah well, it's been five years since you released the first one so yeah. how long have you been working on this has it kind of just been here and there here and you there can? you know I, my, my daughter was born uh three years ago or almost three and a half years ago so so that's 
that was uh, that you know that that changed the my creative process. You know, I, I had to learn to like write in uh, in smaller increments of time, and it's been really good for my songwriting. But I've had to put my my, my novel on hold, and, and now I'm kind of getting back to it. and It's a real pleasure. It's not nearly as bad as I remember. You know, <laughs> <laughs> was the first time a real grind. It was. You know, it's like yeah. And you know, I'm naturally you know disposed to like to to dislike what I'm writing. You know. Um, and just try and fix it, and through that way, I achieve something that I'm that I'm going for. But you know, but so you know, writing writing a novel is just trying to put one perfect word in front of the next. Uh, at, you know, and uh, uh, you know, and and that's that's what you do with songwriting. You just have to do it a lot longer. You know, and nobody applauds. You know, that's hard. <laughs> <laughs> Until it's all done, and you're performing in front that's of right, yeah. tons of people, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. At least there's some gratification. That there. is amazing, isn't it? Yeah, that's amazing. You before mentioned how you believe in your daughter, your family, mm -hmm. whiskey, mm. and love. Yeah. <laughs> Outside of music and those things, what yeah. do you like doing for fun? Um, uh, you know, I you know I love I love painting, painting something that's come into my life recently. Um, I I really I really enjoy walking. I love I love going places. I. Uh, you know, in New York, I think the first six months I lived there, I, I must have walked all over that place. <laughs> and uh, I love, uh, I, I've, I've previously really enjoyed running, and, and that's been a, a long-time hobby of mine. So all kinds of stuff, just just whatever I find that gets my energy out and, you know, keeps me keeps me sane, you know, anything. Anything that will do that, I'll be, I'll be on it, yeah. And you mentioned painting. You actually posted an original on your Facebook. It's like, you want to trade and I'll give yeah. you something in return. Yeah. Do you have any responses oh, to I've that? Got, I've gotten hundreds. And really? It's been, it's been really, you know, uh, you know, I paint. I, I love the idea of, like, being able to, like, trade with, with, with people. Trade, you know, it, it, the, you, you can't put a, a real price on, on art of any kind. And, and uh, I, just, I, just, uh, I just love seeing what people uh, uh, are doing. You know, there's so many incredibly talented people out there. So the chance to like, come into contact with them and and, uh, and 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 get to know them a little bit and and, and like you know, come away with something beautiful that they've done uh, you know in, in exchange for what I've done is just it's just like uh, it's it's awesome I love it I'm gonna keep on doing it I I, I don't know why I never thought of it before you know <laughs> <laughs> there been any bizarre items that people have offered up oh there's all kinds of you gotta you know, tell just me like a bit. any any like any artist you know they're like people follow their like their uh, their their art, art artistic visions to this these crazy places and it's like and uh, and yeah you know, I got all kinds of n nuts awesome amazing stuff yeah, yeah. that's awesome yeah <laughs> let's to wrap things up today sure. anything you want to say or address to your fans who're gonna be viewing oh I would just say thank you thank you very very much I hope I hope I didn't ramble too much <laughs> I ramble sometimes and uh, I'm just really happy to I'm really happy to be to be playing music. Thanks. I call myself a professional rambler, so I'm totally in the <laughs> same realm. <laughs> Thank you so much for your Thank time. You very much. Pleasure. Thank and you. remember, everyone viewing, can visit us at amusicblogger.com for all exclusive interviews, features, videos, and so much more with your favorite artists. We'll see you next time.